Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Rico back at it again. Your favorite Canadian from the North ready to bring you back that heat. It's been a minute, but your boy is back with the Buffalo attack. Boy, that was corny, but I'm back at it again. Check this out. If you've been living under the rock, your boy Richie Crybaby Incognito decided to call it quits and retire. And that kind of put us in a bind because we had our plans to have left tackle, left guard, you know what I mean? Working on getting a center and having a question mark at right guard and, you know what I mean, having Mills at right tackle. And then my man threw everybody for a loop, especially that we lost our center in Eric Wood. And then Richie decides to call it quits. Now, here's the thing. Here's the backdrop. Richie's been in the league some time now, 12 years in the NFL, spending time with the Rams, the Dolphins, and the Bills. In three years with the Bills, he's been a pro bowler, once with the Miami Dolphins. So, I mean, we I don't want to say we, we, we propelled his career. We rejuvenated that man's career because had it not been for Whaley and the Bills, my man probably would never be on the field again after that big old fiasco that he had in Miami with the bullying and the racial slurs and all that bullshit that was happening in Miami. So, the Bills came knocking at the door and said, hey, yo. We think you still got some 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 game in you. Come to Buffalo. We'll, you know what I mean? Keep your nose clean. We're not a big city. We're not a big, you know what I mean? All that hoopla. You can actually get work done and you can be a productive player. And that he was. Let's fast forward. He restructures his contract. McBean comes knocking on his door. Doc, 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 doc. You know what I'm saying? Yo. We got some money situation. We need you to take a little bit of a pay cut. You know what I'm saying? We stick with the team. You mean we'll, we'll be nice. We'll bring, we're trying to, we don't, you know what we're trying to do? We're trying to bring in a franchise quarterback. So I need you to take a pay cut. So my man said, all right, yes, I will. You know what I mean? Sometimes, what, where, where is it that when a man gives you his word, his word is no good anymore? And that's exactly what I feel happened here. My man said, all right, even though I'm not happy about it, it still keeps me gainfully employed. So yes, I'll restructure. So he restructures. A few moments later. My man decides to A, fire his damn agent. I just like this. And then now he's sitting there going brazy all over the damn internet, talking all kind of junk on Twitter. So now, as an employer, you're sitting there like, hey, what the hell just happened, man? You, you said yes to restructuring your contract. Now you're talking all this crazy junk. So now you're talking about liver failure and you're not happy and you're stressed and you can't do it anymore. You you just won't be able to play. So guess what? I'm retiring. So he decides to tell the Bills, you know what? I'm calling quits because my body just can't take it anymore. So he says, I'm out. So what do the Bills do? The Bills said, okay, you don't want to play? That's cool. We respect it. You know what I'm saying? Have a good recovery have a good retirement you just be on the list and then you know I me mean, we'll follow protocol now here's what i have here's where my issue is with the bills y'all played hardball with anquan bolden when anquan bolden came inside that one year deal he came in saw what was going on and said you know what not for me i'm not really into playing ball anymore i want to go and do my humanitarian work bullshit you just didn't want to play with the bills because you saw that it was a it was not looking so good you know what i'm saying so they left them on the retired list to rot and which he did and i applaud the bills for that because you stood your ground and you said you know what you're not about to play us for a fool so what happened with richie incognito this dude went crazy on the internet doing all this junk stuff just trolling people on twitter doing all this nonsense and y'all stood your ground until you decide to release him now that is where i have a problem because that's not like y'all. Yo, if McBean decided to stay the course and say, you know what? We're going to do the same thing with the Anquan Bowling we're going to do to you because you're no different. You're no better. You wanted to retire. You didn't want to play with the Bills. You put us in a bind. You made us have to force ourselves to draft and change our board a little bit. So be it. You're going to rot on that list. But no, the Bills come back and have some kind of compassion and just say, you know what? We'll release you. Here's my thing. Why? You had no reason to do it. Now you have a $1.5 million dead cap because of this fool. You feel me? So like s some of that stuff doesn't make any sense. So is it just me? Am I tripping or the bills got a little soft? 
but why? Why play it one way with Anquan Bolden and play it another with Richie Incognito? That's the shit that don't make no sense to me. Now, do I care? Hell no. Am I all sensitive for Anquan Bolden? Nah. This dude just wants to play the game didn't like what he saw. He wants to play us and try to go get some, go somewhere else. He blatantly lied to us. Is exactly what he did. Richie Incognito didn't exactly lie to us, but he just went out public and just made himself look like a fool and make us look like a fool because now we just released him and played into his game. We played into his game. Did he play us? Is that what it seems like? Or do we know something that he doesn't know? Our team's not even going to touch him. I highly doubt it. He's still productive. 34 years of age. The boy can still play. He's only a year older than me. And I feel fantastic. So I know my boy's ready to go out and play. So what do y'all think about that situation? Is Richie Incognito tripping? Is he all the way mm, to the left? Or was this a diabolical plan that he had that he knew that the Bills were just going to let him go and they were going to release him anyway and all that jazz? Who knows? I don't like it. I would have preferred that like McBean this. stay the course and say, y'all, you want to play this game? Then we're going to play it even better. Sit on that list and rot. Because at the end of the day, we have the rights to him. And let's not forget, you were 18 months out of football. And this is how you do us? That's cool. Watch us do what we do and go back to the playoffs. My man Anquan Boldus watched us do what we do. Richie, you're going to watch us do what we do again this year. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy. Tell me what y'all think. Put your comments in the comment section. Y'all know what it is. This is the Buffalo site. This is the page for Buffalo news, Buffalo anything. You know how we do. We keep it nice. We keep it fresh. And we keep it moving. It's your boy Rico. And I'm gone.